Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Juju. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own composition notebook to upload on Amazon KDP. So what are we going to do today is we're going to create a cover and we're going to create an interior. And if you don't know the measurement, all you have to do is go on Google and type Amazon KDP calculator and it will bring you here so you can put the book information. You have to make sure you put like uh, the interior design, uh, what color is going to be the pages and then the size. After you calculate the dimensions of the ebook cover, you're going to download the template. But before we download the template, we're going to go on Canva and add our measurement that we have for the full cover, uh, for the cover uh, page. Go on Canva and create a new design. Make sure it's the same. Make sure the, the size is the same as the full cover that we got from Amazon KDP. Then we're going to download the template and we're going to upload the template on Canva. And we're going to start the process of designing our ebook cover or book cover. Uh, right now, I'm just going to click on it so I can make sure it match. And I, I don't just drag it in there like that. Just tap on it and then see, you see how I'm doing it. Like I just drag it to the end so that way it, it match perfectly. So after I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those rulers that you see on top. If you don't know how to get that, you're going to go on um, file um, settings and then you're going to show ruler and guide. Mine is already there. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them on the line that's um, where the template is to match. Right after that I'm done with the locking, I mean right after I'm done with adding my lines, now I went and lock it so that way when I'm designing, the lines doesn't keep moving. Um, so now we're ready to design. Uh, we have everything all set. If I'm going to design in the middle, the lines are not going to move. They steady uh, because I lock them. Make sure you always lock the lines whenever you create it. So the next thing I'll be doing is go on ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to create a design for me. I'll leave the prompt in the description so that way you guys can use it. Uh, I asked to create a flower and then I copy and paste it in the uh, cover design. Um, as long as everything is in, in the middle of the line that we have, we should be all set. So I already created like a background color. So now I'm just adding like a color for the spine and you can change it to a different color, different, um, different color that you want. So now that I'm done, I'm going to add like a composition notebook label. I just go to elements and type composition label and I was able to get like different type of composition book uh labels but if you can't if you look what you're looking for on canva you can't find it you can always go to creative creative fabrica i have the link in the description you guys can check it out um to find composition notebook labels you'll find plenty of them right now i'm just adding like uh, a message to tell the audience whoever's gonna buy this book uh, this composition notebook that it this is what it is. It's a college ruled wide notebook And if you want to add the size you can so now that I'm all set with this Cover now I'm gonna go ahead and create my interior, which is a 7.5 by 9.25 I will have all this information in the description box so that way you guys can give it a try so what I did was I'm just going to do the line and I don't really need to do much because um, Canva already have their own templates. All I did was go on the design and then type um, lines and then it, I, I was able to get a template. They already have their own template. So what I did was just change the lines to um, um, make it a little bit smaller. I mean, it was thicker, so I make it line a little bit slimmer. And then I just go ahead and duplicate every page. So I'm doing only 121 page. So I go ahead and duplicate it and that was all set. So you don't really need much because Canva already have all those templates available for you. All those designs, all you have to do is type what you want and then you should be able to find it. That's how easy it is. Um, so now I'm just creating like a, a book um, 
pretty much like a first page that would say this composition notebook belongs to whoever so they can write their name and phone numbers and that's it like you pretty much done once you have that cover we're gonna go ahead we have the cover you have the interior we're gonna go ahead on amazon kdp and then we're gonna upload our uh composition notebook and to do that we go to amazon kdp if you don't have an account sign up to an account then you're gonna click on create create paperback and then you're gonna put like your title uh you're gonna make sure that you have all the information on the title because that's gonna help with the seo when someone is looking for your no um composition notebook that's how they're gonna be able to find it so you make sure you put a title make sure you put the author's name because um that's very important and on amazon kdp you can add as many authors names as you want uh, for each different books like if you have like different books you can add different others in under one account um, so I'm just gonna put my name and I'm gonna say I'm gonna put a description if you're having a hard time finding out descriptions you can always ask ChatGPT to help you with a uh, description and uh, ChatGPT will give you not only the description also it will give you keywords that will help you for uh, customers to find you uh, on Amazon KDP we're gonna do we're gonna add all this information and we're gonna make sure we put which category the book fell fall into uh, you, this is very important and once you're done with that you're gonna make sure you create a um, couple keywords that's gonna help you on how people are gonna find your book in Amazon when you go on amazon.com and then you add a certain words it'll give you all the keywords and you can use all those keywords on your um, on the Amazon KDP so you just go ahead and write whatever I wish they gave us more um, box to add more words but they only give you a few seven so you're gonna go ahead and type down all your keywords now that we have all our information down the keywords we're gonna go ahead to the next step is uploading our uh, cover and interior um, Amazon KDP automatically give you an ISBN now we're gonna make sure that the color is black and white and then make sure that our size is good uh, and then we're gonna upload our manuscript which is the interior side and then the next one is our um, cover Make sure you upload where it says upload a cover. That's where you're going to click and upload your cover. Once you are done uploading your cover, we're going to move to the next step, which is uh, adding some information about what kind of did you use ChatGPT? Because now they ask that if you use ChatGPT, uh, if you use AI generated, um, you say yes, you did, no, you did not. Uh, like I use the chat GPT I use chat GPT for the cover so I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes I did use chat GPT for the cover and then you write down the software that you use once you got that all set and then you're gonna go ahead and check the uh, the book preview to see how it looks like um, it's a way to know if you did an amazing job uploading the book if there's an error they will tell you right there that the book has some issues like what page have a um, issue in there so you're gonna have to go back and change it sometimes Amazon KDP can be a pain because you could do everything right but for some reason they find something wrong in it. and and sometimes all the pages look the same but there's always something wrong you just gotta make sure so on the side if something was wrong you would know you see where it says quality check if they would tell you straight up okay you know what um, something is going on you need to go back and fix it but to me everything is working out perfectly so I, um, all the pages are really good so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, put my at the price how much is gonna I'm gonna sell this book everything is good I'm just gonna save and continue and then when we get to the next page which is like adding um, knowing where you want to sell the um, composition notebook um, if you want to sell it only in the United States and Canada, you can, but I always do all um, worldwide um, 
because I don't know where my uh, um my customers be coming from so I just click all and but if you want to do one in the United States and Canada or you just want to do wherever you live you can all right so now that we got this part done we're gonna go ahead and add our price what they don't really tell you is Amazon takes a lot of fees uh, you probably thinking like okay I'm gonna sell this composition notebook for $7.99 you might think you're gonna get like probably a good four dollars out of it you're not you're just gonna get like at least a dollar fifty a dollar forty nine for it so basically Amazon takes a lot of fees but please don't get discouraged because people still make money every month on Amazon KDP you just have to be consistent and persistent and don't get discouraged so um, I went in and at the price also if you want to request a proof of um, for the book you can they send you like a copy and then you see how the books notebooks looks like or if you don't want to wait you can after you submit after you publish your book you can wait like you can order some authors copies and then they send you some home but it but it takes like um, 72 hours for them to approve the book so right now we're gonna go ahead and publish and once we publish it's gonna be in review for three days and after the three days it will be live on Amazon and you can share it to your friends and family members that's how easy it is to create a composition notebook and sell it on Amazon Kitty now go ahead and create your own composition notebook and come back in the comments and tell me how easy it was for you if you would like more content like this don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and thank you for watching see you next time